See, there's Chipper over there. Chipper sees her. Chipper knows it's her baby. Look at that. And I have a super exciting announcement to make about Peppy. And so let's brush her off and talk about it. Hello, farm friends. It's a beautiful Saturday on the farm. It's beautiful, but a little bit cold and windy. Not super windy, but just enough that it's a little chilly outside. But anyway, hope you're all doing well. It's been a while since we've got a video up. Our life has been super crazy busy lately, but anyway, gonna take you along as we get a few things done on this beautiful Saturday. So hope you enjoy. Well, I just brought Lex home. I had her over on a pasture. There wasn't much feed on it, but it was a good place to put her. And Nugget. Nugget just wandered over and is eating some hay, but Nugget's just been weaned, and so I let her be, over, be with Aunt Lex for a little while. Real quick, Ash Creek Financial Advisors, if you ever see that on my trailer, you yeah, should give them a call. Let them help you invest your money. That's my brother's company and they're pretty amazing, so. All right, well, let's uh, brush you off. We got some rain last night. You can tell just the way her hair looks that she was wet. She's dry now, but I'm gonna brush her off and move on to the next project that I have to get done today. Now I'm gonna let Nugget go back in here with her mama. It's been a month and I'm kind of curious. I just want to see, I want to see how she acts with her mom. See, there's Chipper over there. Chipper sees her. Chipper knows it's her baby. Look at that. <laughs> That was not a mean thing, but a, a greeting of excitement. Like, hey, how are you? But the good thing is, look, Nugget's not trying to nurse. She is saying, hi, mom. It's me. Now, she may try to nurse. Oh, she did. She, well, she didn't. She just kind of went towards that back flank and Chipper lifted her leg like, no, we're done with that. You can tell in a hurry if the if you've separated them long enough, because if Mama doesn't want to let them nurse anymore, then you've accomplished what you needed to. So I think we're good to have them all back together again. Well, I just brushed her off. She looks good. Just a reminder, this is Lex, and she's a niece, <laughs> if that makes sense. She's out of Chipper's full sister. So she's a niece to Chipper. She's our tallest horse. She is actually the mother to Kick 66, and she's in full to her by Gold 66. So we are so excited that here in a couple months we're gonna have a baby from this beautiful girl. Well, now she's with her buddies. She 
and he obviously has to come check and see if there's any food in the Ford feeder. But now I'm gonna catch Peppy and brush her off for a little bit. Hey Chipper, how are you this morning? And Charlotte. And honey, honey, you need brush today too. So maybe I'll catch her first actually. I just missed it. But guess what guys, Nugget came over and was nursing on Chipper and she let it happen. So they haven't been separated long enough. We're gonna have to separate Nugget longer. But really, Chipper's milk is dried up. So there's not anything there, but still I don't want her just nursing all the time. So by the end of today, I'll separate Nugget again. Cut. Honey here, and isn't she looking good? Let me remind you what she looked like when we got her about four or five months ago. Super bony. I mean, she hasn't put on any weight. She's only been here two days. I just hadn't been able to video yet. So she's still super poor. And today I will get her dewormed. And I think she's already actually put on a little bit of weight just in two days because she's had consistent meals every day. But she's a cute little Palomino paint. Doesn't she look a lot better? Now, because of the rain, she looks a little rough, but I'm going to brush her off. And she still has some weight to put on, but she sure looks a lot better. We thought she was pregnant, but we got her ultrasound and she's not. So it was just kind of a belly from probably having babies every year since she was probably two years old. And they're running on the reservation. There's stallions everywhere. And so it's really hard on these mares bodies to have babies all the time. And not only that, just with the malnourishment, kind of like you see malnourished kids in a third world country, they get a big old belly just because the nourishment's not going to the muscles. So she's got a ways to go, but she's sure come a long way. So let's brush her off. Well, that winter hair is coming off like crazy. Well, she doesn't look perfect, but she definitely is looking better. <coughs> She's one that I think will keep until I have Gilbert come help me a little bit this summer and I'll have him ride her and get her ready to go to a new home. So she's sure a cutie. She does not like to just stand there still when she's tied though, but that's all right. She just likes to move. <laughs> Look at Fred or Barney up on Blake's truck. <laughs> so now I've grabbed Peppy and same thing. She looks a little rough from the rain last night, but I'm gonna brush her off. And I have a super exciting announcement to make about Peppy. And so let's brush her off and talk about it. All right, Peppy, let's uh, brush you off. So here you go, guys. I'm just gonna try to brush and talk at the same time. This is the deal, guys. Peppy is old enough to start training and I don't have much time and I also just don't like starting colts anymore. I'm just, I don't bounce like I used to. And uh, so I thought of a good idea. I have a lot of good trainers in my family. You guys have seen Levi, my, my little brother, 
train horses. You've seen my cousin Amory or my cousin Trista. Their dads are my cousins and so first cousin once removed, second cousin once removed, whatever. But in my family, I have a lot of good horse trainers. Well, many of you that subscribe to our channel have also subscribed to Amory's channel and you know how amazing she is. Well, I thought, wouldn't it be fun to get Peppy to Amory's, Amory's place, to get her started by Amory? Well, we've worked a deal. And in about May or June, we'll see exactly when, as it gets closer, Peppy is gonna go to Flagstaff, Arizona for the summer. And Amory, is going to oversee her training. Amory's gotten so busy, she has an intern named Gracie. And some of you met Gracie when she came here to the farm. The day that Amory tried riding English with Maureen and Maureen um, got to try roping, it was really fun. Well, Gracie is an intern for Amory and is getting really good. And since Amory's so busy, we've made a deal that Gracie will actually kind of oversee the training of Peppy with Amory there to just make sure it's all done to her standard. And so I trust that Gracie and Amory together are gonna to just do an awesome job. And so let me tell you the deal, cause I think this deal is gonna be fun for all of us. All right, so I haven't finished brushing Peppy off, but isn't she beautiful? She is a Gruya Dunn. You can see the, the line down her back, the dorsal stripe, they call it. So she is a Dunn. And she's a Gruya, which is that mousy color. She's super unique in her color pattern and everything. But she also just is a sweetheart. And I thought, man, it would be so fun to have Amory start her. But Amory, at this point, I think, last I checked, so I don't want, don't hold her to this, but last I checked, she charges $2,000 a month for her training. Well, I want her and Gracie to, to put two months on Peppy here. And so that's $4,000 worth of training and thought instead of just paying them the four thousand dollars I would make them an offer and so here's the offer that I made Amory and uh, how she pays Gracie that's between her and Gracie and whatever but but anyway you guys that watch our channel know that Peppy came from Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield Colorado she is a three-quarter sister to Gold 66. Now, those of you that some people have questioned, how do you get a three-quarter sister? Well, Gold 66 and Peppy here share the same sire. Their dad is the same. Well, their moms are half-sisters. So, Gold 66 and Peppy are, are very closely related to each other. Well, Peppy, as a weanling, went to Florida. And some of you maybe remember, I, I make these trades in, in the horse world. It's just fun, especially amongst friends, to make some fun trades and swaps. Why are you chewing on that? Come on, Peppy. That's not going to taste good. So, anyway, Peppy went to Florida as a weanling. And my friends, Michael and Vicki, out in Florida, had her. Well, they wanted to get another 66 baby because they have a mare they call, that we named Miss 66. It was, I think, the first baby that we ever got out of, or by my stallion 66 and she's just gorgeous and they love her and so they're like we want another baby 66 baby so some of you may remember we had a horse here named lily and lily was bred by 66 and they had a, a little filly that we called lil lil 66 
and we tra I traded them, Lily and Lil, for Peppy. And Peppy came back out west, and that's how she got to our place. The more I tell the story, I realize how complex it, it's become, but it's it's kind of fun. So that's how Peppy wound up at, back at our place. Not back at our place, but from Martin's Quarter Horses to Florida, back to Arizona. Well, now I want Emery to train her and my Stallion 66. The Red Roan Stallion 66 that is leased by Martin's Quarter Horses. I get my pick of the babies every year that he's there. So I get a 66 baby coming this summer. And I told Amory, I said, Amory, I'll tell you what, you can have my pick of the Martin's Quarter Horse 66 babies in exchange for two months training Peppy. So guys, is that gonna be exciting or what? You will get to go with me and probably with Amory and maybe us together as we go see the babies born at Martin's Quarter Horses this spring and summer. They don't breed them too early up there because it's cold and snowy. But we will go and the babies will start being born probably middle of May to first of June. And so we'll go up there this summer, we'll see those babies that are by my Stallion 66, and we'll start guessing which one of these is Amory gonna choose as her choice for the training of Peppy here. So there's a lot going into this deal, but to me it's all exciting. If you haven't checked out Martin's Quarter Horses in Bayfield, Colorado, right here is their phone number. Give them a call, ask them what they have available, put down a deposit, if you need a horse trained, give Amory a call and or just check out her Facebook or um, YouTube channels and you'll be able to find her contact information. Um, she, Amory Palmer is her YouTube channel, but if you look up CNA Horses, so Cisco and Amory, CNA. Uh, if you'll check those out, you can see some amazing horses there and some amazing training that happens. And anyway, this is a deal that'll just keep on going. And so I'm gonna keep brushing off Peppy and then I'm gonna work a little, little bit with Palmer 66. But we've got to get him ready. He's headed to Kentucky at the end of the month. And so he needs a Coggins test. So I'm going to start working with him on loading in the trailer and uh, just keep working with him on getting more and more gentle. So I'm going to take him over to what I call the stud pen because that's an easy place for me to work with him and load him and take him to the vet and all that stuff. So let's go. Well, as you can see, he's getting a lot better, but he needs brushed off now too. Just that rain made them all look a little rough, but there you have it guys. We'll start working with him to get him loading in a trailer. And one of the next videos will be him going to town to get a Coggins test.
Hope you've enjoyed seeing some of the stuff that I have going on on the farm. And tell me what you think of that deal with Amory. I get two months of training and she gets a baby by 66 that hopefully we'll get to see her train in the future just like she did kick 66 and she has penny 66 <laughs> and so i think amory kind of likes my 66 babies and so it's so fun to watch hey thanks for coming along guys